Stable isotope labeling with amino acids in cell culture, or SILAC, is a simple and accurate method to quantify differential changes in the cellular proteome. SILAC uses metabolic incorporation of stable, non-radioactive deuterium, carbon-13, or nitrogen-15 labeled amino acids in the proteins using specially formulated media. Typical experiments involve growing two cell populations in cell culture media that are identical except that one contains the natural amino acid, referred to as light, and the other contains the isotope labeled amino acid, referred to as heavy. After cell lysis, equal amounts of protein from both cell populations are combined, enzymatically digested, and analyzed using mass spectrometry. Silic amino acids are chemically identical to natural amino acids, but differ in mass due to the incorporation of stable isotopes, denoted here by the red asterisk. These heavy amino acids, typically lysine or arginine, facilitate detection and quantitation of labeled proteins' relative abundance in different samples. Up to four different cell populations can be analyzed using thermoscientific new code amino acids. These heavy amino acids contain different stable isotope variants that can be analyzed using high-resolution mass spectrometry. Unlike traditional SILAC that compares light and heavy samples, SILAC with new code amino acids is used to compare multiple heavy samples in the same mass spec analysis. An example of a new code amino acid is lysine 202, which contains two heavy carbon atoms and two heavy nitrogen atoms. This amino acid can be paired with lysine 040, which contains four heavy deuterium atoms. Since both amino acids have the same nominal mass, they are indistinguishable at low mass resolutions, but are resolved using high resolution mass spectrometry for quantification. Here we describe the steps to metabolically incorporate heavy amino acids into cells prior to protein digestion. All reagent preparation and cell culture must be done in a tissue culture hood under sterile conditions to prevent contamination of your cultured cells. The first step is to prepare the amino acids by dissolving 50 milligrams of each heavy or light amino acid in one milliliter of medium and mixing thoroughly. The color of the medium will change from red to yellow upon addition of the amino acid hydrochloride salts. However, the color of the phenol red pH indicator will revert back to red after addition to the rest of the medium. The next step is to prepare the medium for the addition of the amino acids. Remove 50 milliliters of the silic medium from each bottle and replace it with 50 milliliters of thawed dialyzed FBS. As silic medium is deficient in both arginine and lysine, both amino acids must be added to the medium to support cell growth. For experiments using only lysine for isotopic labeling and subsequent lysine enzymatic digestion, supplement each bottle by adding 50 milligrams of the dissolved light arginine. Next, add 50 milligrams of dissolved light lysine to one bottle and 50 milligrams of dissolved heavy lysine to the other. For experiments using both lysine and arginine for isotopic labeling and subsequent triptych enzymatic digestion, add the light lysine and arginine to one bottle and the heavy lysine and arginine to the other. Once the amino acid solutions have been added to each 50 milliliter bottle of medium containing dialyzed FBS, mix thoroughly. If required for a specific cell line, include additional antibiotics and media supplements before mixing. Sterile filter media containing dissolved amino acids using a 0.22 micron filter flask into bottles labeled heavy and light. Medium that has been supplemented with serum is typically stable for three to six months. Always store the medium at four degrees Celsius protected from light when not in use. The next step is to prepare your cell lines for incorporation of the isotope labeled amino acids. Depending on the cell type, Split between 1 and 200,000 cells adapted to grow in the specific medium type into two or more tissue culture flasks or plates, with one containing the heavy medium and one containing the light medium. For suspension cells grown in T25 flasks, use 8 milliliters of each medium. For adherent cells grown in 60 by 15 millimeter plates, use 4 milliliters of each medium. Passage each cell population for at least five doublings by changing the medium or splitting the cultures as appropriate every two or three days. Maintain the density so that the cells are actively growing in log phase at 30 to 90% confluency. 
After five cell doublings, the incorporation of heavy amino acids should be greater than 95%. Harvest one million cells from each labeled cell population to determine isotope incorporation efficiency. Prior to mass spec analysis, the cell should be washed twice using five cell pellet volumes of PBS and centrifuge for five to 10 minutes at 500 times G to pellet the cells and remove the silic medium. The efficiency of isotope incorporation is determined by liquid chromatography mass spectrometry analysis of the samples labeled with heavy silic or new coat amino acids. Standard in solution or in gel sample preparation techniques can be used to extract, reduce, and alkylate cellular proteins before enzymatic digestion with lysine protease or trypsin protease to generate peptides. Peptide samples are then analyzed by LCMS to determine the percent incorporation of heavy amino acids into the metabolically labeled proteins. The percent incorporation is determined by assessing the peak area of light and heavy peptides observed in the LCMS analysis. This is facilitated by database searching of tandem MS peptide spectra using the heavy amino acid masses as dynamic or variable modifications. Once full isotope incorporation has been determined, continue to expand the light and heavy amino acid labeled cells to the number required for subsequent cell treatment and lysis. To simplify your Silic experiments, we offer complete kits for lysine or trypsin digestion. Each kit contains Silic media, dialyzed FBS, light and heavy amino acids. Individual components and other media types including Silac DMEM, RPMI1640, DMEM F12, MEM, and IMDM can also be purchased separately. We also offer multiple pack sizes of heavy and light lysine, arginine, and leucine amino acids. New code amino acids are our most recent breakthrough in silic quantitation, enabling multiplex quantitation up to four samples in a single LCMS analysis. Find out more about our silic metabolic labeling systems at thermofisher.com slash silac.